Hello and welcome to the Storm Magic How To video series. Here at Storm Magic, we're producing some training videos for our customers and partners to show how to do certain things in the setup and configuration and general operations of our software products. Those software products being SVSAN, our virtual SAN solution, SVKMS, our key management server for encryption workflows, and ArcVault, our video management surveillance solution. My name is Steve Bettison. I'm a technical pre-sales engineer here at Store Magic, and today we're going to be continuing um, our video series in SV SAN and looking at the witness. Now, the witness there is there to do that quorum logic, um, providing that sort of election mechanism between the two nodes. In the event that we lose a lose a host, um, the, the witness comes in, does that quorum logic, promotes the surviving node as the master, and our systems continue to run. Now, the witness can be deployed. Uh, on different platforms. Um, I've already covered a video how to install the witness on a Windows server, and that runs as a service, but it can be deployed on something as small as a Raspberry Pi, be deployed uh, when you install the plugin on vCenter, so your vCenter can act as the witness. We do a witness as a service, so you can have the witness running up in the cloud. Uh, and to, but today's video, we are going to look at deploying the witness appliance. So a package VM deployed via an OVF um, onto, onto VMware within our vCenter. So we are going to install the witness appliance package VM, as I've just mentioned, deploy uh, the SVSAM witness as an OVF, check the witness appears in discovery on the VSAs, and then apply the witness to a target. So let's jump out of the slides. Now, I've got um, vCenter here. You can see I've got two labs. You've seen these before in other videos. What I'm actually going to do is deploy the witness, a high, highly available witness actually, as, um, as a virtual machine on this demo nest cluster. Now, we wouldn't be able to use that witness on this cluster because the witness has to be outside of a cluster. This is a message we always get across, but I'm going to use this highly available witness in this cluster and use it as a witness for my other cluster here, PS Nest. So the first steps we're going to do is deploy out the AVF. We're then going to go into the, v the, the virtual storage appliances here. Hopefully they've been discovered if my DNS is set up. If not, we can add this um, uh, witness appliance um, as, a, as, a, as a manual entry. And I'll show you how to do that. So. Let's go ahead and deploy out the OVF template. So I'm going to upload a file. I've already downloaded the, the media for the, the witness. And there it is on my local machine. Upload that now. Click next. I'm going to give this a name. I've actually given it in DNS. So witness TS. and we're deploying it to the demo nest lab to be used in the PS nest lab. Okay, let's make that clear again. Uh, it doesn't matter which host. Okay, so we get some details there about what we're deploying, what's in this OV, OVF template, so the witness appliance there. So let's click next. I'm going to accept that license agreement. Now, I'm not going to worry about encryption. Uh, we leave um, selected this format. Well, I need to select a data store first. Now, I'm going to use data one. Now, data one, as I mentioned, is this um, VMFS data store that's being managed by the VSAs. Um, so this is this is SV SAN, highly available storage, and that's a, a, a RAID one mirrored data store there. So I'm going to use data one. Uh, we're going to do a thick provision layer zero. We're not going to worry about um, encryption or DRS. Um, so I'm going to click next. Uh, I'm going to select my management network here. I'm going to click next. Give this a password. One, two, three, four for the purposes of the demo. My host name is 
sp-dn or witness01, our domain name, tsstoremagic.com, DNS server here, and our default gateway is not actually that, it's 196.254. I'm gonna untick this, because I'm gonna give this an IP address, 1010196.90, We'll set the, the uh, net mask on that as well. So that all looks good um, from this customizable template. So we click next. We're ready to complete. So I'm going to click finish. And we should see that object appear here. There it is. Actually, yeah, giving it the wrong name. It should be SB hyphen, but it won't make a difference. Um, We can change that name afterwards. So this is going to go ahead and deploy out. Uh, so this is going to take a few minutes. So we take a little pause. I'll be back in a moment. Okay, back again. That looks like that's completed there. So what we can do now, refresh. And what we can do is power on that virtual machine. So click on that there. You can see powered on, powering on, so this take a few moments to power on. Now what we can do is check um, the VSAs in this lab just to see if it's been discovered. It looks like it's come, come up. So I've got one of the virtual storage appliances, uh, VSA01 here in this cluster up here. Go and have a look. Um, just click on the discovery tab and there we are we can see our witness has been picked up sb-dn-witness01 um, so it's picked it up here uh, but we want to see it visible for this uh, lab so let's have a look at the VSAs here I've already got both of those open up here um, so we can see if they've appeared. Uh, it doesn't appear so, so I think my DNS is lagging behind a little bit. So what I can do is add this um, witness in manually uh, as an entry. I can do the same on the other host as well, on the other VSA. So to do that, I'm just going to add an entry here. So we click on add entry, we do a manual entry, um, put the host name in, so it's sb-dn-witness1ts-store-magic.com, the IP address in here, 10.10.196.90, .10 click apply. And you can see there, appeared here, it's a manual entry, system discovery ID here. And we need to do the same on the second, second virtual storage appliance. So again, I'm gonna click add entry. That's a manual entry. So the dash dn dash dot ts store. Come on. and your IP address in there. 196.90. Click apply there. And again, we see the witness appear here. Now, um, if I go to my targets page and I wanted to change the witness for this target that I already have here. Currently, it uh, happens to be the witnesses is actually my um, my data center, uh, my vCenter. But if I want to change that one, I can just come in here, go edit, click on the drop down, and we should see now I have the option to select SBDM witness 01. If I click apply, change the witness for that target to the witness appliance we've just deployed up in the other cluster. Come back to the target here. 
there we have that witness appliance that's in the other cluster managing um, this this cluster here uh, or managing this target in this cluster here now I could if I wanted to create a target from here again let's just see if that appears um, so if I'm going to create a new VMFS data store uh, create a shared data store next make something appear DS3 small amount of storage next there you can see it's appeared at the top of the list SB hyphen DN witness 01 so it's visible in this cluster I could select that for my for my target but I'm going to click cancel here um, you don't need to see that so um, just to recap we've deployed the uh, witness appliance as a virtual machine on demo nest cluster up here and then and made it highly available um, sat on some storage that's being managed by these VSAs you couldn't you really you can't really use this witness inside this cluster you wouldn't be able to provide quorum logic the witness always has to go outside the cluster but we're going to use we we've used this witness to provide quorum logic for a target that we've created under this cluster here ps nest now if my dns had been all set up correctly that that would have discovered automatically but what we did um, is at manually added the host name and the IP address of our witness appliance and it's picked it up and discovered it and we we're able to use it to provide the quorum logic for that that DS01 that DS1 or DS2 target that we've got here so that's uh, that's how to install the witness appliance I hope that's been useful uh, look forward to seeing you on future videos thank you very much